right, uh, back to politics, everyone. And we're following the candidates as they crisscross largely Indiana, but California as well, future contests. Uh, with us right now is uh, Jane Sanders, the wife of Bernie Sanders. Uh, Ms. Sanders, great to have you. Thanks for taking the time. Good to be here, Neil. As you know, Donald Trump has made a big deal about how your husband is getting the shorter end of the political stick here, that uh, given the superdelegates and the way uh, delegates are awarded in the Democratic Party, uh, it's, they're not being fair with them, not being fair with you. That your husband should run as an independent. What do you think of that? I think he has an underlying agenda there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Bernie's not running as an independent. He decided early on uh, to run as a Democrat, and he's running for the Democratic nomination. Now, Donald Trump has a point. Uh, the electoral process, the way it's conducted now in both parties, is not good. It's not democratic. It's not smart. Um, so we want to change the electoral process by having there be open primaries, um, same-day registration. If independents could vote, um, there's no doubt that the results in the democratic process, at least, would be very different. Bernie's won 17 states, uh, but a lot of them have been open. Uh, the closed primaries he has lost or virtually tied. Um, so, for instance, in Connecticut, we have no doubt if an independent had been able to run, he would win. In Pennsylvania, it would be close or he could have won. So uh, he did win the Rhode Island, the only open primary. It is interesting. Tuesday. You're right. But an open contest, your, your husband does, does very, very well. But if you think about it, too, even in states where he has won appreciably, New Hampshire comes to mind. Um, he won that mm -hmm. by over 20 points. They ended up splitting the delegates thanks to these superdelegates. Do you think they should just do away with the superdelegates, because if you look at pledge delegates, it's a lot closer race. If you throw in the superdelegates, Hillary Clinton oh, yeah. is just a couple of hundred away from closing this thing. Yeah, I, it doesn't seem fair that uh, that superdelegates can play such an an outsized role. I mean, you know, it's, we learned in a democracy, it's one person, one vote. Evidently, not in the primary system. So uh, I, I, we don't like the concept of the superdelegates. It's a it's pretty much an insurance policy for the establishment that they can make sure that the primary doesn't go awry. And I think probably the Republicans over the last few months have been wishing they had it uh, as Donald Trump has, has moved forward. Um, but now it looks like, you know, both parties will have to deal with the will of the people.